verses of the Veda which are required for Dawa, those verses of the Bible which are quoted by Christian missionary. So you think I know more than the Christian missionary, which inshallah, Alhamdulillah, I know, but I have mastered this art, which you know, Sheikh Didad, mashallah, he is the person who inspired me. May Allah grant him Jannah. He was a great inspiration for thousands of youngsters, including me. So the thing is that you need not waste time, but you should know that portion which is required for Dawah and to convey to them the message of Islam as Quran says, which are similar things. If you do this, inshallah, it will help you to convey the message of Islam. I understand there are lots and lots of questions, but we have a time to keep, a deadline to complete. So we'll just allow one or two questions. One question on the slip is uh, from Shakil Ahmed. Jazakallah, doctor. Please tell us, all Muslims, what is the share to run a 24 hours Islamic channel? We are ready to invest. Mother asked the question, what is the rate? What is the share and what to invest? Time didn't permit me to speak about the God channel. As I told you about the God channel, I just told you in brief. This God channel, which is the most popular among the Christian channel, it publicizes that if you give one pound a year, it will help in giving this message of God channel to five homes every year. That means if you give 20 pounds, the statement says, it will go to 100 homes every year. If you give 200 pounds, it will go to 1,000 homes every year. If you give 1,000 pounds, 5,000 homes every year. This is how they are. And God Channel is minting money. See, as far as Peace TV is concerned, there are many projects that have been launched by Muslims that you invest this money and you get so much profit and you will get returns, etc. As far as we are concerned, it is not a commercial channel at all, our channel. Whatever you put in, you will get your returns in Akhira. Inshallah. <laughs> Multiple times. Allah says in the Quran in Surah Baqarah, chapter number 2, verse number 261, if you sow one grain in the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah will give you seven years each year bearing 100 corn, that means 700 times profit. In business terminology, 70,000% profit. And Allah does not stop there. He tells, He will give you multiple more. So whoever helps in this channel, inshallah, in the akhirah, He will get multiple times of reward. Whatever it is, people are most welcome. Again, what Ajar you will get is not depending how much you give, it's depending how much percentage you give. So if a rich man gives me a lot of money, $100,000, a million dollars. But a poor man gives $100,000 or a million dollar, maybe just less than 1% of his wealth. But the poor man gives me $10, which will be 50% of his saving, he will get more ajar. And the channel will run mainly because of Allah's help. See what dawa I do. I don't consider myself to be an extra intelligent person. Believe me, I was a stammerer. People who know me from childhood, I was a stammerer. If you ask me, what is my name? My name is Zaz, 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 Zakir. And that person, therefore I read the dua of Musa alayhi salam, who was also a stammerer. Rabbi shahli sadri, wa yasalli amri, wa halul ugdata min lisan yafqa kawli. Oh my Lord, expand my breast for me. Remove the impediment for my speech, so that the people will hear me. So it is Allah's help. I don't consider we are very intelligent. So in this channel also basically we require Allah's help. And Allah has his ways how he helps people. So whatever a person gives, in charity I always say, look at the percentage. I tell the rich people, don't look at the amount you're giving. You decide that inshallah, besides the zakat that I give, I will give 20% of my earnings every month. 25%, 30%. See, when a person is poor, he wouldn't mind, okay, I will give maybe... 20% of my money, which may be suppose $100. But when he becomes a billionaire, that 20% becomes a million dollars, then his heart aches, you know. Oh, millions of dollars. Would you fail to realize 80% you have got in your coffer? A good businessman should increase his percentage. So always I tell the rich people that when you donate, stipulate a percentage of your income. The money per se, so do business with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The best business you can do is with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The maximum returns you'll get. 
So, put a figure, 20%, 25%, 30% or whatever you want to earn, I'm going to spend in the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala besides the zakat. And inshallah, you'll find that Allah will give you more in this world and the akhirah. Hope that answers the question. The next question from the brother. Yeah. as alaikum. My name is Riaz Ahmed. I'm in a sales and marketing profession. Well, my, my question to doctor is, uh, we all know that, that the Western media is giving a wrong picture about uh, Islam and Muslims. We all agree that. But the worst part and the painful part is, how come in some of the Muslim countries and also in, in this part of this world, even the media is using the same title, terrorist and all, to those people? But there is a question that the non-Muslims are using media and unfortunately some of the Muslims are using that word. So that's what I'm asking. You have to go and ask those people, not me. You have to ask those people. And what happened that many of the Muslims, due to ignorance, they start agreeing. As I give you the example, a Muslim coming and telling me the Taliban are bad. He was ignorant, not that he was against Taliban. So many a time we get so convinced with the media, what we hear, what we see, we start believing in it. So what we should do, we as Muslims, should remove the cobweb even from the eyes of these type of Muslims besides answering the non-Muslim media. And inshallah, we should be logical. Not just by saying we are right, we are right. We should prove logically that Islam is the religion of truth, is the religion of peace. And only way that there can be total peace in the world is no other way but by Islam. Allah says in the Quran in Surah Al-Imran, chapter number 3, verse number 19, Inna dina in the al Islam. The only way of life accepted is Islam. That is, peace acquired by submitting our will to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. All right, thank you. The last question of the day from the lady. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. I am uh, Dr. Firdos. My question is that, we know from the ahadith that Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wa sallam told us about the fitness or afflictions of the jal. And according to some of the ahadith, we are informed that uh, the jal will reach every house. He will show you water which you cannot drink. And he will show you fire which will not burn you. Uh, can we consider TV to be one of the afflictions of the jal? First of all, the question that there are hadith talking about Dajjal, which are Sahih hadith. There are some scholars, including she has quoted that, that some of the scholars say that this television, you know, can't the Dajjal, one eye Dajjal, screen is only one eye, so this is the Dajjal. So can't we consider this as the Dajjal? There's no hadith saying TV is Dajjal, whether TV is or not. You know what we have to do? Our beloved Prophet Muhammad said that when you stand for Salah, don't leave any gap, close in your gap, so that there's no place for the Shaitan. Sahih Bukhari, volume number one, book of Adhan, chapter 75, hadith number 692. The same hadith is repeated in Sunnah Abu Dawud, volume number one, in the book of Salah, chapter number 245, hadith number 666. That when you stand for Salah, stand shoulder to shoulder, close in your gaps, so that the Satan doesn't come. If, even if you consider this as the Dajjal, you convert the Dajjal into a Muslim. Change this TV media into a true media and propagate it. There is no proof that television is a Dajjal, but even if you consider it to be a Dajjal, what we have to do is we have to use this media to propagate the haq, so that we can testify to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that we have tried our level best to convey the message to the world and give the message of Islam to the whole of humankind. Wa dawana alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Brother Arif Jilfar would propose the vote of thanks. I have the pleasure to pass our thanks and appreciation to our dear honored guest, Dr. Zakir Naik. Jazakumullah khair. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless all of us. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. <laughs> كلام الله داوي نفوسنا لنحس في أعماقنا أعماقنا الإيمان